I just don't know. that are 
limited in Karnataka. In electric vehicles, we are the fourth largest when it comes to automotive uh, sector. But when it comes to electric vehicles, we have taken the lead. In fact, the largest number of electric vehicles are sold in Karnataka. To offer. With these words, I would welcome all of you present here today to make time and to uh, discuss various collaborative opportunities as we go forward. Thank you. Human resources, robust social infrastructure and a lower cost of doing business. The state is known for its industry-friendly policies, progressive reforms and having worked towards significant simplification of processes. The state has emerged as a leader in the ease of doing business ranking in the country. Last year, it ranked third in the Export Preparedness Index and eighth in the National Logistics Index. Investors thus have a very clear case of considering to invest in the state, whether it's in the uh, manufacturing or the services space. Asacham is very glad to support the government of Karnataka and the entire team of Invest Karnataka to showcase a state which is agile, transparent, and offers investors a stable policy environment. We have a pharmaceutical and medical R&D in the lab and where we are situating a place called Pragati Nagar Alip Industries, a women association. So our question is very straightforward. Do we have any such places where for pharmaceutical R&Ds there are incentives or something which is more better comparatively to Hyderabad, number one. And my second question, I also take the privilege associated with Capstone, who are in staffing and facility management. Our President Parla sir is here. So we have a second question from him and with this I, I thank for that. You see, sir. You see, we can see. Okay. So do we have anything like how we do here in Alip industry for women? They have a subsidy and there are sort of benefits. Yeah. So do we have something in the bank? For the women, for the women as I mentioned, if it is coming under the industrial policy, is not in Bangalore, you will get over and above uh, what we normally give by 5%, provided they are in the micro and small category. Okay, uh, so that is there. Plus, there are a number of other incentives also that are given, like KSFC can give you loan at 4% rate of interest. Um, that's like an interest subvention scheme that you have. But we need to explore your project understand it and then we can tell you what all are and in the newer industrial policy we have tried to include clinical trials and others so we can just, we just have to look at what exactly but what, what exactly in hyderabad they do for any women who wanted to start they have created a zone called alip industry so, and there are so many other zones so any women who want to become an entrepreneur so they give extra leverages and all that so just as a quote i'm giving oh. and we have it in we have it 
and uh, the last thing in that across the state what i am trying to say is under under our uh, industrial policy we need 5% extra to the normal incentive great ma'am and also we would like to know something on manpower yeah, policy uh, thank thank you for coming here and uh, now we are clear about a uh, lot of many things which you are on our about uh, Uh, doing business in Karnataka, and as I told that uh, ease of doing business and uh, single bit of clearance, and also uh, we are into human capital business. Uh, we are providing manpower in various verticals. So post pandemic, the challenges what we have seen that uh, the uh, shortage of uh, blue color uh, labor staff. So I just want to add that blue color, uh, yeah, blue color uh, employees. So <coughs> majority of them uh, come from uh, out of Karnataka. or and also what kind of skill development initiatives are being taken so that we can be part of it and we can source our manpower from uh, those those uh, skill development centers so yes and we have uh, uh, quite large number of polytechnics i am not recalling the exact number right now and we work closely with the industries for the training and skilling we have identified a partner uh, with tata technologies with whom we are working to identify new skill sets and how we can train them we are working with siemens we are working with world bank we are also uh, saying uh, for example if something in electronics is, is done so in that area there is a cluster of electronics and we are trying to ensure that all the skill set that are required for that cluster are available in that itr and polytechnic so depending upon your requirement we can work with you closely thank you so much for the presentation not only that i have a personal interest also i am from varangal studying in hyderabad working for karnataka <laughs> <laughs> i am from telangana i want karnataka i want india so every student has come to us from the hyderabad and come to karnataka Bro, here also come and bro with us, there also. Okay, meeting group, right?